I want to share with you today a story as it appears in the book of Luke, chapter 7. I'm going to read this to you because it's an incredible story which truly illustrates our Savior's compassion and love. Starting in verse 11, And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him, and much people. Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said unto her, Weep not. And he came and touched the bier, and they that bare him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. And he that was dead sat up and began to speak, and he delivered him to his mother. And there came a fear on all, and they glorified God, saying that a great prophet is risen up among us, and that God hath visited his people. And this rumor of him went forth throughout all Judea, and throughout all the region round about. Now here we've got just seven verses which describe the actual event of Jesus Christ raising a young man from the dead. It seems to read so fast. It's not very detailed. But make no mistake, this is a very special story. I want you to imagine what this whole event must have been like. Now, our Bible tells us that Jesus was walking into the city. He had many disciples and a large crowd was walking with him. This couldn't have been quiet. As he walked in, there was a funeral procession happening, which also said there was many people from the city with them. And these two parties were meeting head on, it seems. Here was a widow whose only son was dead. And this day she was burying her only son. Although I'm sure she had friends and other extended family, she may have truly been feeling as though her world was turned upside down and that she was surely going to be all alone in this world. More than likely she has concluded all this in her mind already. Now some of you may understand this type of despair and anguish. She had to go through this final walk and she may have been thinking, you know, what will I do from here on out? What, what am I going to do? I'm all alone. In a million years, she could not have guessed what was going to happen next. There's not any person who could have even entertained this possibility of what was about to happen. This man, Jesus Christ, who is leading this crowd into the city, walks up to her party and causes the men who are carrying her son to stop. He looks upon this woman who is all alone and caught up in pure anguish and our scripture tells us that Jesus had compassion on her. Jesus tells her, weep not. Now what was she thinking at this point? Who was this stranger telling her not to weep? Well, we don't know what she was thinking because scripture doesn't tell us. But you can probably imagine that her being in the presence of the living Son of God, she had to have felt his compassion and perhaps she knew that something was different, something was happening. Either way, Jesus touches the bier and speaks these words, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. And this mother, in the midst of her lamenting, 
watched her dead son, her only son, sit up as life came back into him. What could this mother think? What in all of what's called reality could she possibly think? How is this possible? How is this possible? Her son, who was dead, behold, is alive again. Now, Scripture says that Jesus delivered him to his mother. We can truly only imagine what this mother did. In a split second, she went from being all alone in unbearable mourning to being ecstatic with joy to overwhelming. This must have been unspeakable. The reunion with her son as she embraced him could more than likely not be adequately documented. No retelling of the story could ever do it the proper justice as this mother probably held on to her son with an embracing of love and gratitude like never before. The range of emotions very well may have been too much for her heart had the Lord Jesus Christ not been present. After all, who could process this absolute miracle in their mind? It says that a fear fell upon the crowd as they also must have been in pure astonishment at being witness to all of this. This was not normal. This is not possible. They more than likely all thought this. But here it is. They saw this with their own eyes. God visited his people. Jesus Christ raised the dead and it was spectacular. He gave this son back to his mother and thus brought such joy and happiness to her. I have no doubt she glorified God and had unspeakable thanks for Jesus Christ and what he did that day. Sometimes I, uh, I kind of chuckle a little when I think of how the rest of her day went. How do you get back to normal after that? I can tell you with fairly good confidence that she cherished every moment with her son from then on, as she more than likely thought about this day for the rest of her life when she came into the presence of Jesus Christ and this man raised her son from the dead. Not many moms can say, for that matter, not many people in general can say that they've had anyone raised from the dead. This is a story of amazement. This is a lovely story. Give glory to God for his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Remember, these events happened. Jesus Christ is astonishing. Read your Bible and give praise to God.